Hi, my name is Shucheta Ghoshal. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Human Centered Computing at George Tech. In this presentation, I will share some highlights from our paper toward a grassroots culture of technology practice, published at CSCW 2020. I want to take a quick moment to acknowledge my co-authors in this paper, Rishma Mendekar and Amy Bruckman, as well as our community partner, the Regional Movement of the Southern Movement Assembly. For this work, we incorporated action research as our primary method of inquiry. Action research advocates for researchers studying a community from a position of closeness rather than from a distance. For us, this meant participating in a community, taking a political stance aligning with them, and studying their use of technology. Particularly, we collaborated with a regional movement situated in the U.S. South called the Southern Movement Assembly. SME is a coalition of 110 different local grassroots organizations across the southeastern United States. Their movement is primarily led by and centered around Black, Indigenous, people of color located in the U.S. South. The technologies they use for their everyday goals of grassroots organizing consist of their website, Facebook page, Google products, etc. While these tools have been a huge support, there were also issues of power and access emerging around them. And it is at this complex socio-technical reality of grassroots organizing, we situate our collaboration. In partnership with the SME, we form the research question, what does it mean to design for the culture of grassroots movement organizing? Our paper reports on our investigation into this question. In our paper, we answer this research question in three steps. The first step of answering this research question entailed 11 semi-structured interviews with people at various power positions within the community. We share detailed findings in our paper, but I'll share a quick summary in this talk. Broadly, we find that a cultural conflict exists between SMA and their technologies. In SMA's expectations, more ICTs meant more relevance among young people, more inclusion, more efficient organizing, more funding all of which are important capital for organizing. In SMA's reality, however, more ICTs meant the majority being intimidated by technological means of organizing, racial and gendered patterns of technical competence, and technically competent people having more power. Technology having cultural consequences is not a new phenomenon. As a second step toward making sense of our findings, we incorporated the lens of technocultural theory articulated by Arnel Pacey, a theory that examines technology as a cultural project. Technocultural theory points out that it's easy to see technology for just its technical aspect or as artifacts with utility. But if we expand our vision beyond the artifact, we can begin to understand technology as a project in which technical artifacts express the culture of how and where technologies are produced. Technocultural theory has been a core source of wisdom for critical informatics and other discipline. In our analysis, we specifically apply Andre Brock's reformulation of this, thinking of technology as a triad of artifacts, practices, and beliefs. We analyzed our findings in the third step in the light of technocultural theory. As we note, in this diagram, the ICTs used by the SMA, artifacts like Google Drive, Zoom, etc., when seen through the lens of technocultural theory, become cultural expressions of corporations that produce them. A culture that has shown steady patterns of racial, gendered, and class exclusions. Essentially, SMA's experience of these ICTs resemble a lot of how these ICTs were produced in the first place. With our analysis, we argue that even though grassroots communities and corporate workplaces of technology have little in common, they do share the same artifacts. By choosing to use some of these artifacts, grassroots communities also inherit cultural qualities of their sites of production. The values of ICD production reproduce within grassroots communities, perpetuating systemic exclusion. Finally, using the same theoretical framework, we envision a grassroots culture of technology practice that prioritizes grassroots culture and intentionally resists hegemonic cultures of technology. Thank you for listening.